This is a case of colossal dysgenesis, cortical gray matter heterotopia, right parietal intraparenchymal cyst, and small posterior cranial fossa. The images demonstrate a small genu of the corpus callosum with absence of the body, splenium, and rostrum. In addition, there is a region of encephalomalacia in the right occipital parietal area with a possible intraparenchymal cyst. The posterior cranial fossa is small and with low-lying torcula. The cerebellar tonsils are above the level of the frame and magnum, and the vermis is intact. Corpus colossal abnormalities range from primary agenesis, where the colossum never forms, to secondary dysgenesis, where the colossum is formed and is subsequently damaged or destroyed. Colossal abnormalities range in incidence from approximately 1 out of every 20,000, with a male-to-female ratio of 2 to 1. Gray matter heterotopia results from interruption of neuronal migration from the ventricular margin to the cortex, resulting in normal neurons in abnormal locations. Gray matter heterotopias can either be nodular or diffuse. Nodular forms include both subependymal heterotopia, which is the most common and is present in this case, as well as subcortical heterotopia. Despite the small posterior cranial fossa and low-lying torcula, there was no spinal dysraphism in the lumbosacral region.